Hey guys, I'm Paul the Mortar Guy. Now, has this ever happened to you? In this video, I will cover three common mistakes I see riders make that causes them to stall or have poor takeoffs. And I will show you how to fix them. So hang tight. Now first, I'm gonna talk about the clutch, and then I will cover the throttle. Now the first mistake I see is that riders let the clutch out too fast. So they start to let the clutch out, and then once the motorcycle starts to move, they pop the clutch out the rest of the way, which looks like this. The second mistake is that riders will try to time the clutch release and the throttle roll on. The problem with this is that if your timing is off just a little, it can cause you to stall the motorcycle. Now the third mistake is not having enough throttle to keep the motorcycle from stalling once you release the clutch lever. Now depending on what type of motorcycle you ride, the amount of throttle needed may differ. Now let me get on the bike and I'll show you how to release the clutch lever. All right guys, so now I'm gonna talk about uh, the proper clutch release. Instead of letting it go and then popping it out at the end, I'm gonna show you the way I do it. So let's say that one's all the way in and five is all the way out. All right, so what I do is I'll slowly release the clutch to about the three position. Now that there is about when you're going to be in your friction zone, the bike's gonna start pulling me. So I'm gonna go out to that position there. I'm gonna hold it three, 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 and then I'm gonna slowly release it four, five, the rest of the way. Now as you notice how the four, five was the same consistent release all the way through. Uh, the clutch never was popped out at all. It's the same continuous slow release all the way out until you get the bike uh, to that five position. Now I'm gonna show it to you again, but this time I want you to notice two things. Now the first thing is how I hold the clutch in the friction zone for a couple of seconds. This will allow the motorcycle to pick up some momentum before I continue to let out the clutch. Now the second thing is I want you to notice how the speed of my clutch release is the same all the way through the four and five positions. So let me show it to you again. Now I'm gonna go over the sequence I use when taking off. Now first I'm gonna talk you through it and then I will show you on the bike. So as I'm coming to a stop, I put the clutch lever in all the way. Now once I get stopped, I sit with the clutch lever just outside the friction zone. By doing this, I get rid of that dead space just before the friction zone. That does nothing but waste time. Also by doing this, I know that when I start to release the clutch lever, I am immediately in the friction zone and the motorcycle is gonna to start to move, which takes the guesswork out of it. Now, when I'm ready to pull off, I first will roll on the throttle and then slowly release the clutch lever. By doing this, I already have power stored up before I start releasing the clutch lever, which will help reduce my chance of stalling the motorcycle. So let's check it out. Now you may have a different technique you use for taking off, but no matter what techniques you use, you have to practice it in order to build consistency with your takeoffs. Now this way, if you find yourself in a situation where you have to take off quickly, your body will be able just to take over and react. Now if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now until next time, practice, 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 and ride safe.